Hello everyone. Welcome back to Hero Handmade Crochet YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful and cute pair of earrings. First of all, we will look into the things needed. We need some yarn, 1.5 mm steel crochet hook, stitch marker, two hook ear wires, two of the six millimeter jump rings, the yarn needle, the pliers and the yarn cutter. These are the things required. Now let's see how to make it. Start with a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your finger two times like this. And then we need to put a stitch to secure the magic ring. Insert the hook into the ring. Yarn over, pull through the ring. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Now we have the magic ring ready. We are going to work six single crochets into the magic ring in round one. Insert the hook into the magic ring. Yarn over, pull through. Now we have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through both the loops. This is the first single crochet. Again, insert the hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through both the loops. Now we have completed two single crochets here. Just like that, we need to complete six single crochets. Four, five and six. After completing six single crochets, we can pull this tail tight to close the magic ring. With that, we have completed round one. This is how it looks like. And then we will insert the stitch marker to mark the round. And in the second round, we are going to work six back loop increases. If you look at the stitch carefully, you can see that there is a front loop and a back loop on the stitch. We are going to work only to the back loop. So insert the hook into the back loop of the first stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through both the loops to complete one single crochet. Again work another single crochet into the back loop of the same stitch. This is an increase. Again, work two single crochets into the back loop of the second stitch. One and two. Again, two single crochets into the back loop of the third stitch. One and two. Then again, work another two single crochets into the back loop of the next stitch. One and two like that we are going to continue working two single crochets into the next stitch as well now we are left with one stitch here we need to work two single crochets into the back loop of the last stitch as well one and two now we have completed round two and then remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round. And then we are going to start with round three. Work one back loop increase into the first stitch, one single crochet and another single crochet into the same stitch. And then work one back loop single crochet into the next stitch. Again, two single crochets into the back loop of the next stitch. And one single crochet into the back loop of the stitch after that. Again, two single crochets into the back loop of the first stitch. 
and one single crochet into the back loop of the stitch after that like that we are going to continue until the end of the round now we are left with two stitches here we are going to work two single crochets into the back loop of the first stitch and then work one single crochet into the back loop of the last stitch here like that we have completed round three remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round and then we will continue to round four in round four we are going to work one single crochet into the back loop of each and every stitch around one two three four five like that we are going to continue at the end you will have 18 stitches around this is the end of round four and then again remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round and we will start with round five in round five also we are going to work one single crochet into the back loop of each and every stitch round This is the end of round 5 and again remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round and round 6 is also going to be a round of 18 single crochets. After that remove the stitch marker and attach it to the next round to start with round 7. In round 7 we are going to work one back loop decrease into the first two stitches. I will show you how to do that. Insert the hook into the back loop of the first stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch. Now we have two loops on our hook. Again insert the hook into the back loop of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch. Now we have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. This is a decrease. Again work one back loop single crochet into the next stitch. Like so. And then work another decrease into the back loops of the first two stitches. Insert the hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Again insert the hook into the back loop of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. This is the back loop decrease. Again work one single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch and again a decrease into the next two stitches. One and two yarn over and pull through all three loops and again a single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch this is the pattern we need to repeat until the end of the round
now we are left with three stitches here work a decrease into the first two stitches and then a single crochet into the back loop of the very last stitch of the round now you have 12 stitches around remove the stitch marker and then we are going to stuff the ball with some fiber filling And then again mark the round by inserting the stitch marker and then we will start with round 8 start round 8 by working a decrease into the first two stitches insert the hook into the back loop of the first stitch yarn over pull through again insert the hook into the back loop of the second stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops and then again another decrease into the next two stitches one and two then yarn over and pull through all three loops again another decrease into the next two stitches one and two then yarn over and pull through all three loops now we need to work three more decreases one and two yarn over and pull through all three loops again another decrease one and two yarn over and pull through all three loops and we need to work the very last decrease into the last two stitches here one and two then yarn over and pull through all three loops and then remove the stitch marker then we need to put a slip stitch into the very first stitch of the round insert the hook yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through the loop and then if you look at carefully you can see that all the front loops are gathered just like a spiral shape here what we need to do is work slip stitches all the way around until the end of the spiral shape we will start from the very first stitch here insert the hook into the front loop of the first stitch yarn over pull through and pull through the loop this is a slip stitch again work another slip stitch into the next stitch like so just like that we are going to continue working slip stitches into the front loop of each and every stitch around Now this is the second round so we will continue to work slip stitches all around like so.
these are the last stitches of the spiral shape and I have completed the spiral shape until the end then chain one leave a little tail and you can cut the yarn off now we have created the crochet part of the earring and then you can use the yarn needle to hide the tail And we will need two of these pieces to complete the pair of earrings. I have completed both of them here. And now let's see how to attach all the parts together to complete the earring. First of all, we will take the jump ring, open it up using the pliers and then you can insert the jump ring into the stitch at the top just like this. And then we will put the hook ear wire also into the jump ring and secure that with the pliers. This is what we have completed and then we will do the same thing to complete the other earring as well. This is what the completed project will look like. I hope I have explained all the instructions clearly for you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for watching Hiru Handmade.